दुष्यम रामीति मधुर मधुराक्षर आरोह्य कविता शाखा वंदे वाल्मीकि कोकिल जयत्याश्रित संस विध्वंस नोदय प्रभावान्सीतया दिव्या परम व्योम भास्कर परम व्योम भास्कर श्रीमते निगमांत महादेशिकाय नम इन श्रीमद रामायण वी आर ऑफन टोल्ड that rama suffered languished in the forest just imagine if we were to time travel and i was one of the journalists good journalists you may be wondering if the word good and journalists go together let's assume for a minute that the word good and journalists go together if i were a good journalist and i were given the opportunity to pose questions to shri ramachandra my question would be sir they often say that you were sent to 14 years on an exile to the forest is it true that you suffered in the forest he will give a smirk and he would say yes my last year when my dear wife my beloved sita was abducted i was clueless directionless then i had to go fight ravana it was an ordeal to fetch her back and get my patta abhishekam done so he will agree that the last one year was extremely troubling gruesome very troubles there is no denial but the first 13 years were the most memorable years in the lives of rama and sita why am i telling this because when they trio cross the waters of ganga Rama met one of the best friends of his life. Valmiki gives such a commendable introduction to a character to a patram called Guha. Tatra raja guho nama Ramasya atma samasakha Nishad jatyo balavan स्थपतिश्चेति विश्रुतः तत्र राजा गुहो नाम रामस्यात्मसमसखा रामस्य आत्मसमसखा व्हाट अ ब्यूटीफुल यूसेज ऑफ वर्ड्स ही ही कुड हैव सेड रामास फ्रेंड रामस्य आत्मसमसखा how much a person will value his atma because if atma jeevatma doesn't exist what is the use of this body if the jeevatma exits the body the, the entire family will go disposes of there is no use of this body then till the jeevatma is inside the body resides in the body only there is value for us so the jeevatma is so important rama valued guha as much as he valued his jeevatma i can i cannot explain this further you have to feel that ramasya atma samasakha nishad jatyo balavan that great valorous man was of the nishad jati stapati cheti vishrutah the mystic tamil poet திருமங்கை ஆழ்வார் கால்ட் பரகாலா ஸ்டேட்ஸ் ஏழை ஏதலன் கிழ்மகன் என்னாதிரங்கி மற்றவர் கின்னருள் சுரந்த மழை மான் மடைய நோக்கி 
புந்தோழி எம்பி என்றொழிந்திலை உகந்து தோழன் நீ எனக்கிங்குழி என்ற சொற்கள் வந்து அடியேன் மனத்திருந்திட ஆழி வண்ண நின்னடியினை அடைந்தேன் அணிபொழில் திருவரங்கத்தமானே திருவரங்கத்தமானே ஏழை ஏதலன் கீழ்மகன் என்னாதிரங்கி மற்றவர் பின்னருள் சுழந்து மழை மான் மட நோக்கி ஐ டோன் நோ இஃப் இஃப் த வேர்ட்ஸ் ஆஃப் திருமங்கை மன்னன் இன் தமிழ் அண்ட் த வேர்ட்ஸ் ஆஃப் சம்ஸ்கிருதம் பை வால்மீகி ஆர் கம்பீட்டிங் வித் ஈச் அதர் to give us the characterization of guha guha was extremely devoted to rama the beauty is he has never seen rama but rama was such a hero of his times so any activity he did used to be in a different style he walked there was a style he spoke there was melody every act of rama was observed by the media every act of rama was hailed by the rishis every act of rama had his own, its own set of followers so even if you had not seen rama you will fall in love with rama so amongst the whole galaxy of people who had fallen in love with rama was guha he had never seen rama but to him it was an utter surprise that that rama whom he had hero worship whom he had loved is coming to his place so he was extremely happy so he comes running true to certain communities every community has its own distinct habits and features just because one community follows one set of habits it doesn't mean the other community should also be following and if they don't follow they will rot in hell no as hunters as tribal hunters they were not used to taking bath every day that used to be like a momentous occasion like how we have deepavali or diwali once a year they used to take bath once a year maybe they were involved in water conservation we don't know so this man called guha was never used to taking bath if you don't take bath naturally there will be a layer of dust dirt over you maybe he was not concerned and that should not be our botheration too the moment somebody came and informed that rama is coming guha started running towards rama and he jumped into the waters of ganga and that water splashed all over his body so his body got wet and with the same pace he continued running on the banks of river ganga which had fine alluvial soil dust silt on either sides so all that got attached to his body so he was already dirty for not having taken bath then there was water splashed over it and then there was a layer of dust sand dust over it with this he goes and stands panting for breath breath in front of rama Rama is seeing Guha for the first time. Guha is seeing Rama for the first time. He is not even looking up and looking at Rama's face. He falls straight as Rama's feet. Rama says, get up. Guha, get up. What have you done? You have done a very cruel act, Guha. Guha said, Swami, please tell me what, what have I done? Please give me punishment. What, what is that cruel thing that I have done? you should have hugged me you should have embraced me how dare you fall at my feet you are come here you are my best friend atma samasakha imagine somebody is falling on the main road and they come to us we will think twice before embracing them because all their dust on their body will come on our body but rama was not bothered atma samasakha he just embraced every minute of rama's act lakshmana was admiring he thought i have lived with my brothers for brother for so many years i have not noticed this love what wow every minute my brother throws a wonder at me this is called rama anubhavam every minute of ramayana is an experience sita looks at guha because the moment she knows that her husband has so much of respect and regards for this person i should grace this dear son of mine so she starts casting her glances on him yasya yasya dishi viharate devi drishti stvadiya tasya tasya mahamahamika dhanvate sampadoga ha yogaramba tvaridamana so yushvadai kanta yuktam 
धर्म प्राप्त प्रथम धारयंते When Mahalakshmi looks at somebody, they reach the heights of prosperity and fortune. Then Buha said, "Rama, you have come to my house. I'm so blessed, Rama. Please." He orders his assistant, subordinate, to go get different varieties of food. Bhakshyam bodhyam chapeyam chalekyam chaidu pasthitam. See, we have various kinds of food that we can consume. Suppose you give me fruit juice, I cannot use spoon and fork to have. I have to drink. So certain things are to be drunk. For example, water, butter, milk, fruit juice. These are all to be consumed. You have to drink. Certain things you will have to mix and eat. For example, in the South Indian varieties, a lot of you must have heard of sambar, which is called kolamb, rasam. which is called saru rasam satramadu there are various names so you mix that with rice and then put it into your mouth and chew it well there are certain varieties where you have to tear them open for example chapatis naans tandoori roti what a variety right so you have to tear it open like how nisimha tore open hiranyakashipu you have to tear that chapati then you have to chew it there are certain varieties where you can't drink it where you can't mix it for example lehyam i am just giving you an example you must have heard of chavan prash those uh, ayurvedic concoctions it will be like a paste so generally you know in earlier days they used to give a small ball of that paste and you'll have to lick it so that is the feature of that particular variety um during deepavali deepasy aavali iti deepavali or diwali as some of them will call it early in the morning it was a tradition to give a certain herbal medicine to the inmates of a house because you will end up having laddus and jalebis and rabdis and every form of sweets so there will be some kind of a stomach turmoil to avoid that elderly people will make a medicine out of herbs and soak that in oil and give that as a paste early morning you'll have to consume that paste that paste will act as a prevention from getting any stomach problems so you'll have to lick it certain things you'll have to lick it certain you have to crush it certain you have to chew it certain you have to drink it all forms of food was presented by guha to rama bhaksham bodhyam cha peyam cha lekham cha idupasthitam that time rama says kushachira jinadharam फलमूलशन चिधि प्रणीत धर्म ताप संवन गोचर सी ई हेव कम टू द फॉरेस्ट टू लिव लाइक अ हर्मिट इफ ई स्टार्ट कंज्यूमिंग द फ्रूट जूस स्मूदी ऑल दीज वेराइटीज यू आर गिविंग मी इटालियन क्विजीन मेडिटेनियन क्विजीन एशियन क्विजीन then what is the डिफरेंस बिटवीन मी लिविंग इन अयोध्या एज अ प्रिंस एंड एज अ हर्मिट इन द फॉरेस्ट i am living like a prince only in the forest so i will not consume any of these at this point in time you know some activists will get up and say no rama was against the scst he did not support guha that is why he did not want to eat guha's food wait next day he consumed what guha gave so is rama very weak one day he says i have vowed not to eat any of this next day he eats is he so weak or was there some protest between these two days where the hunters come and say you have disrespected our chief guha for not consuming what he gave what happened in the middle you have to wait for the next episode dear astika reader i am happy to be authoring a two part book on the ramayana in english the first part is slated for release in the year 2024 the book aims to recreate and retell the ramayana of valmiki conforming to the ancient commentaries and other allied literature to receive notifications of the book release kindly register with www.deshikadaya.org/books namaskaram